Good morning, everyone. My topic is all about methods of studying behavior. This is Teresita Agapito Sain, Teacher 1 from Nabwa Central Pilot School. Different types of techniques are used by the researcher to collect data and conduct studies. With the increasing use of educational technology in education, psychology, and other social sciences, new research strategies are evolved. Some important methods of studying human behavior as formul formulated by psychologists are as follows. Number one method is introspection. This method was introduced by E.B. Titchener. This is also known as self-observation method. Introspection means to look within. This is the most oldest method of all. Example, a patient can report about his pains and other disturbances in a better way than a nurse. He will look within himself and explain how he is feeling. This method cannot be used to study children, animals, and persons suffering from mental disorders. But this is a cheap and easy method to use. Number two is the observation method. This method is very useful in areas where experiments cannot be conducted. In this method, the observer will observe and collect the data. Example, in the hospital, the nurse will make observation of patients, temperature, pulse, BP, facial expressions, and etc. This method is very useful to study the children, mentally ill animals, and unconscious patients. At times, the observer will go to natural settings, situations, etc. in order to get the objective data. This is a very good and useful method, but the disadvantages here are there are chances of subjective report and prejudices of observer may creep in. Sometimes to observe the natural behavior or the observer may have to spend more time, energy, and money. We come now to the experimental method. This is the most objective way of studying the behavior. In this method, experiments are conducted in the laborato laboratories under controlled condition. In experiments, usually, the effect of independent variables on the dependent variables is studied. They are the independent and dependent variables. There will be some other variables which are not wanted by the experimenter and their interference may affect the results of experiment. Example, the effect of music on the level of blood pressure can be studied in laboratory settings. Here, music is the independent variable and the BP is the dependent variable. Such variables are controlled. These unwanted variables are called extraneous or intervening variables. Experiments are conducted under controlled conditions in order to control the effect of these extraneous variables. So that's why Experiments may be conducted by using two groups called experimental group and controlled groups. All other sounds 
other than mu6 are extraneous variables that are to be controlled so that the effect of only mu6 can be assessed. Similarly, the effect of different drugs, foods, etc. can be also studied. So otherwise, the experiment may be conducted on the same group under two conditions and vice versa, experimental and controlled conditions. Next is the clinical method or the case study method. This method is used very commonly in hospitals and also in educational settings. For example, in hospitals, when a patient is admitted, the nurse can collect the detailed information pertaining to the, to the disease of patient. This information may be obtained from the patient, parents, siblings, or others who accompany him in the hospital. Next is the survey method. This is used to gather information from large number of people. Questionnaires, checklists, rating scales, inventories are used to collect the required information. Next, we come now to the genetic method. This method is also called as developmental method. Most of the behaviors are the results of earlier experiences. For example, in order to understand the behavior of adults, we need to know their childhood development. O dapat alam daw po natin kung ano yung pagbabago na naganap nung bata nung nandun pa siya sa childhood niya. This can be done by two ways, a cross-sectional study in which the children of different age groups will be studied simultaneously. Letter, letter B, longitudinal study in which the same individual will be studied in different stages of life. We come now to the last method, which is the testing method. Different tests are developed by psychologists to study various aspects of behavior. The attitudes, interest, abilities, intelligence, adjustments, personality, and such other factors which influence behavior can be studied by administering the suitable Yes. That's end my report this morning. Thank you for listening. Hope you gain something in my lesson this morning. Have a great day ahead. Thank you very much.